Hey guys, it's Dom here from Yak Hunters Australia and we're coming to you live from the banks of the Brisbane River today with another product review. This time we are going to be reviewing the Bay Sports Pedal Pro Fish flat powered kayak. We're going to give you a full run through of the, uh, the kayak itself, take it out on the water and give you a bit of an idea of how this kayak performs. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just want to run you through the tail of the tape for the Pedal Pro Fish. So it comes in at a length of 3.4 meters, uh, a width of 87 centimeters, and it weighs in at 28 kilos. The pedal drive, uh, if you were to take it out, that on its own, that weighs in at 4.8 kilos. So in terms of its portability, now if you've got a bit of size about you and you've got some strength, you probably could lift a 28 kilo kayak up on top of your vehicle. Uh, but if you are uh, you know, someone who does need a little bit of help with getting your kayak up, all you would need is your fellow fishing buddy uh, or potentially uh, purchasing a, a kayak side loader for your car to help you get it up on the roof. Okay guys, so I just want to take you through a full walkthrough of the Pedal Pro Fish. So we always like to talk about the build quality when we kick these things off and we've done a few reviews for base sports in the past and the build quality has been great on all of those and this looks to be no exception. So it's got a really sharp mould design that they've used. Um, you can't see any, uh, any bubbling or uh, uh, any sorry, air bubbles throughout the design at all. So all in all, it looks to be on point when it comes to uh, its build quality. So what I'm gonna do now is take you from uh, the nose to the tail of this particular kayak. So you've got a nice uh, comfortable uh, handle at the front here to be able to uh, pull your kayak along on wheels if you have them. You've got your first storage hatch uh, here, which is attached by a little bungee um, you pop it open and you've got enough room in here to be able to fit to any winter gear, any wet weather gear, um, potentially even put a battery in here if uh, you are uh, hooking up a, uh, a fish finder and transducer to your kayak. We then come back into uh, the cockpit of this particular kayak. Um, the first thing that stands out to me is the fact that they've put some deck matting down here. Now, deck matting is great for a couple of reasons. Uh, firstly, um, you know, it's for non-slip. So if you are standing up and moving about in the kayak, it's great to have that, uh, uh, that non-slip characteristic in, in your kayak. Uh, secondly, it does offer a little bit of shock absorption um, if you are to drop things in your kayak. And it's also a bit more comfortable underfoot. We then come into the middle here, you've got your second uh, storage hatch, great for your wallet, phone and keys. Um, you've got two open little storage containers here um, that you can put some of your fishing tools and so forth that you're going to need to be able to access quite readily while you're out on the water. You've got two sets of rails here as well. So you've got two at the front and two at the back uh, that you're going to be able to put your rod holders, uh, we can put your fish finders, your camera booms, or anything else uh, that you want to put up on these rails. So really handy that it's got two sets of those. Um, it does come with one rod holder as well. We then come back into the seat. Now this seat here, uh, it is a raised or a podium style seat. Um, it twists in, uh, you know, screws in uh, at the front and the back and it, it too is on rails, so you can move it forwards and backwards as you see fit uh, to be able to uh, get you sorted for your leg positioning for the pedal drive. Now, I've uh, 
many a time talked about a raised seat and how important it is. You know, it's really important for two reasons. Firstly, it's gonna be keeping your backside off the bottom of the kayak, so you're not going to be wet as soon as you get in it. Secondly, if you're gonna be spending many, many hours on the water, it's important that your seat is both comfortable and raised. So this one here, it's got a nice, comfortable uh, set of padding in the bottom. It's comfortable padding in the back, and it's also adjustable to, uh, to cater for your height. As we move further back, we've got the third storage hatch, um, also lockable. Um, you're gonna be able to fit your tackle boxes and so forth in here. And then the final storage is at the back here with your uh, the bin at the back. So um, this has uh, also got bungees on it, so you're gonna be able to fit things like your eskies and so forth without them moving around. At the very tail of the kayak, we have another handle to help uh, man maneuver it about. You've got your rudder system here, the rudder system is, is via a pulley, so obviously you pull it up uh, and then you can release it and it will bring it, bring it down. So um, the difference between this uh, type of rudder system and other rudder systems that we've reviewed before for, for base sports is that because this is a pedal kayak, you now need to be able to use your hand to be able to uh, rotate the rudder. And you've got a very simple rudder system here. You push that, you go left, you push it to the right, you go right. So uh, obviously you're gonna be using your feet and your hands are now going to be free whilst you are uh, uh, maneuvering about. So really a simple rudder system there. So if we look at some of the other accessories, you've got six uh, rod mounts uh, here, or flush rod, rod holders. Uh, so you've got two at the front and then four behind, so you can take plenty of rods out on the water. And then the real star of the show, if we're talking about uh, the flat powered kayak, is the fact that instead of having a bicycle style paddle system, you have now got one that you push backwards and forwards. Uh, you know, obviously very, very similar design to other uh, popular kayak brands out there. Um, and it's great that uh, we can now see uh, this style of system coming into more affordable uh, styled kayaks. So that's the tail of the tape of, of the Base Sports uh, Pedal Profish. I'm keen to get it out on the water and uh, see how it performs. Okay, so we've got Bay Sports flat powered kayak now out on the water and I've uh, run it through its paces. So I've uh, you know, gone flat stick uh, and I was really impressed with the, the pace and the maneuverability of, of this kayak. Um, so I personally have a, a kayak with the, the same style of, uh, uh, of pedal drive system. Um, the kayak probably cost me about four times what this one does. So I came out with a bit of a chip on my shoulder saying, ah, oh, well, look, it's, it's not going to be any good. But um, no, Bay Sports, you've, uh, you've made me a believer. <laughs> For the, the price point this is, um, the pedal drive system, uh, it's really got a uh, you know, great propulsion. Um, the, uh, the rudder uh, is, you know, really enables you to be able to turn really easily. Um, if you if you want to add to the turn and tr try and turn this thing on a dime, if you lean into it and kind of micro fin and do small kicks with the, with this, uh, you can get the kayak to turn really quickly, um, which is quite important because uh, this particular pedal drive system uh, it's unidirectional, so you can only go forwards uh, with this. So um, unlike some other uh, ones where you can go forwards and backwards, and these days I think you can go in a 360 motion, this one here you can just go forwards. So um, if you are looking in, if you are in a tight spot, you know, micro fitting and being able to turn quickly is, is key. But all you need to do if you need to go backwards in this particular kayak, um, I would splay the fins so they sit up uh, underneath uh, the, the kayak so you've got less drag. Um, 
just grab your paddle and you can very quickly uh, be able to uh, maneuver yourself backwards uh, so you don't hit trees or uh, uh, pontoons or wherever it is that you're uh, you're navigating about so if i was to uh, you know kind of sum up how this kayak handles um you know i'm impressed i was able to stand up uh, with real ease um look i'm a pretty uh, pretty slight person so um there's going to be people that you know twice as heavy as me that are probably be getting in something like this so i tried to jump up and down and and really move about and you know i felt really comfortable uh, in the water i'd certainly be comfortable uh you know standing up and and fishing from uh, the standing position um, it's really comfortable to get back down um, you've actually got the handles right next to you here uh, so you can sort of bolster yourself and and and, and get up now uh, pretty comfortably um, you know the uh, the pedal drive system it's adjustable um, I think there's a you know six or seven or maybe more uh, different points in which you could put it at the seat is, is adjustable forwards and back uh, so you're going to be able to uh, you know comfortably get the right setup whether you're five foot five or six foot five so um, you know I don't think there's any issues uh, with the uh, the total size of the individual that is going to be in the kayak um, and look it, the, the kayak's only 3.4 meters long so uh, it is really nimble um, you know, to be able to get about in, and look, I've I didn't think it was going to be as stable as uh, uh, as it is, and look, it's super easy to get about in. Um, I'm a huge fan of this styled uh, pedal drive system, uh, so uh, you're going to be able to do long hours on the water on it. Um, you know, really, really comfortable seat. It's raised. Um, I'm not going to labour the point there. Um, everything is within easy reach. Uh, so you've got your back. Uh, back storage point, uh, you've got your middle storage point and the front storage point that's it's all going to be pretty uh, accessible. Your rod holders are accessible as well. You've got the ability to, to pull up your rudder nice and easily and um, you know something that is important, thanks we've got a boat going past, always at a really good uh, time when you're trying to film, but like the, uh, the, the pedal drive system is really really easy to get in and out when I'm coming up into, uh, into shore as well. So. Look, that's, that's it for me for, for the on-water test. Um, I'm pretty impressed overall. Speed, tick. Um, you know, trackability, maneuverability, um, this kayak gets a big tick. Um, you know, it's comfort, um, it gets a, gets a tick from, from me as well. So, um, yeah, if, if, uh, if you are a, a dedicated fisher and, and you want a, a ready-made beast to be able to get out on the water in to uh, uh, definitely uh, check one of these things out and uh, I think you'll be pretty impressed with the with the drive system okay so whenever you have a, a flat powered uh, styled pedal drive the first thing it's going to be compared to is some very very uh, premium uh, top of the market styled kayaks and this particular kayak doesn't come in anywhere near some of those price tags. You're looking at uh, $1,595, uh, so $1,595 uh, for this uh, pedal drive kayak. So, you know, in terms of you know the price versus some of its competitors in market that are going to have fairly similar features, you know, this does come in at a very reasonable, sort of almost entry level styled uh, you know, kayak to be able to get into pedal, uh, a pedal kayak. Obviously you're going to be able to find loads of paddle powered uh, craft that are going to be cheaper than that. But I think in terms of value for money, uh, to be able to get this style of, uh, of pedal drive on a kayak for, for less than two grand, uh, you are doing really, really well. So the design and all the features in here essentially are going to get you on the water very very comfortably um, and you know be able to get you into something that you're not going to get tired paddling around all day and um, get into a pedal style kayak like this and you'll find yourself being able to uh, get around more quickly uh, and uh, you know uh, quite comfortably on the water at a really great valued uh, price point <laughs> Okay guys, so it's time to wrap things up here from Yak Hunters Australia uh, on our review of the Pedal Pro Fish flat powered kayak. So the one thing that I think is synonymous with this particular kayak is value for money. So at $15.95 for the features that you get, uh, I think uh, it's going to be hard to look past this for an entry level 
pedal kayak. But there's a few other things that I'd like to be able to leave you with. Um, the portability uh, is one, you're gonna be able to uh, carry this kayak around and get it up on your vehicle with relative ease. Uh, the second thing is the kayak design. So at the front of the kayak, you've got a nice pointed bevel nose here, um, which you're not gonna find on uh, a lot of kayaks that are in that 3.4 meter range. So that bevel nose is gonna enable you to cut through the water nice and easy and not get bumped around by a lot of wash. The second part of the design that I really liked, uh, which I mentioned on the on-water test, um, was the W-shaped or the catamaran styled hull. So they're the ones that enable you to be able to stand up nice and easy so you're not uh, flopping about uh, on, on the water and there's no chance of you getting uh, knocked out by any of the wash that's created by our friends, uh, the jet skis or some of our, uh, our boating cousins. So overall, I think this is a really quality kayak for you to be able to get into a, a pedaled styled uh, kayak. Um, you know, Base Sports, uh, they really do make some quality gear. So go and check them out at baseboards.com.au and you'll be able to see not only this one, but a whole bunch of their other kayaks uh, on their page for you. So that's it from us here at Yak Hunters Australia. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you out on the water soon or you can catch us on another review. See you later, guys.